Hey everyone, welcome to another Splinter Cell playthrough. Today we are starting Splinter Cell 2, otherwise known as Pandora Tomorrow. And yeah, it always sounded like a, an attack in an RPG to me. <laughs> it's Pandora Tomorrow! But no, it's uh, it's the second Splinter Cell game. I'm playing the PS2 version, um, just because the HD collection version is a buggy piece of crap and this is easier for me to record. So we will have some weird visual bugs, but hopefully not too many. Um, I actually played the Xbox version back in the day, uh, which I, I don't think it's gonna be massively different. I know there's quite a few differences between the PS2 version and uh, Xbox version of the original Splinter Cell, but I don't know if there is for two. So I guess we'll find out. Uh, really enjoyed playing the, the first one last year, so here we go, come join me as we uh, skulk around in the dark as good old Sam Fisher in the second game. Now this, I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite out of the original trilogy. Not saying it's a bad game, it's just not as memorable to me. Although it did, uh, it did include multiplayer for the first time, which was a, a new for the series. I remember trying to play that with my sister. Uh, but I think it was only online, so we didn't really get a chance to do that. Anyway, let's uh, let's start a new game. And I think the cutscenes are going to be pretty quiet. It wasn't your day. God, well, Sam is buff. Very good in simulation. He's very called, square. We have a problem in East Timor. What kind of problem? A big one. His shoulders are like. He has the wingspan of, a, of an albatross. But yeah, I don't really care about the story in these Splinter Cell games too much anyway, as they go on. I mean, Chaos Theory's got a genuinely pretty good story, I'd say. Uh, this one, not so much. He's the bad guy. That's Sedono. That's, um... Is that our friend, Shetland? What is Douglas doing here? It is, yeah. Oh, these cutscenes have not aged very well. <laughs> Done. So, pretty much all you need to know is we got to do some sneaking. We've got some bad guys to take out. Uh, we're at the U.S. Embassy in Dili, East Timor. Uh, March 28th, 2006. The far future of 2006. I remember um, playing this back when that was the far future. Because this came out in 2004, I think it was. So... Yeah, and like I say, I played the Xbox version, but probably going to be pretty similar. Save my game already? Okay. On my uh, Sony Ericsson. Is that supposed to be a Sony Ericsson? I, I could have swore it was. Or did they take the branding off it in this version? I could have sworn it was supposed to be a Sony Ericsson. Now, you may notice a couple of things. Um, one thing, we're waist deep in water right now, and it looks pretty nice, although if I swap to hardware rendered mode, it's a complete nightmare, so we won't be doing that. Uh, and also, Lambert sounds a bit different. You may have heard that. I mean, the cutscene again was very quiet. Fisher is still Michael uh, Ironside. Great stuff. Everyone else has a different voice actor from the first game, but they bring them... What are you doing, Fisher? Heading out to sea. I always remember that line. Everyone else has been replaced and that they gave... And yet, they brought them back for Chaos Theory. So I have no idea why everyone sounds so different in this one. Uh, the guy playing Lambert is... Um, I don't know his name. What the hell are you doing? He's I'm impatient. To convince you it's time to let me retire. That's not funny. Yeah, well... <laughs> He's, he's, he was in The Wire, I think. He was in 24 as well. I th uh, he's been in a ton of stuff. Uh, but everyone else, yeah, has got different voice actors, which always, as a kid, I knew it sounded wrong, but I didn't know it was different people. I just this thought they sounded amazing. different. You're carelessly putting lives at risk. Get back to shore, Fisher. You've got a mission. Lambert, I am trying to intro this game, okay? So, uh, yeah, this being the PS2 version, it's not going to look super amazing. Let's work on stealth. Invisibility is your best weapon. We've got a network of photocells on your suit connected to a visibility meter on your opset. If the meter's at three, you're lit up like Times Square. 
I always remember that line as well. So yes, just like the first game, <clears throat> we've got our light meter on the right. It's only split up into three segments this time. Pretty much works the same way. We've got our health on the right as well. And our little info thing and pistol on the right. Now I've had to put myself over on the left. Um, just so I'm not covering any of that stuff. If I am covering anything important, I'll just tell you what it is. But uh, yeah, let's go. Now Sam is wearing some pretty cool uh, like green combat fatigues in this one. Uh, which is nice. Nice that they, they give you a different outfit immediately. Because in the first game, you mostly... You're mostly in his, like, standard stuff. So it was just... It, I don't know. As a kid, I just thought it was so cool that we looked different in this one. I... Uh, anyway, we got a ladder to climb. This has been a very, uh... All over the place intro, hasn't it? I'm always like this whenever I start a new game. We got a zip line. Whee! Before you infiltrate the embassy, let me reintroduce DP Brunton, our interagency consultant. He's got an update for the mission. What's DP stand for? I'll keep it brief. I'm sure you know I'm excited to be part of the team. The Joint Chiefs want this mission kept non-lethal and alarms at flat zero. We can't endanger the hostages. Understood. And with some due respect, leave anything Lambert can say to Lambert. I don't want the voices in my head to become a crowd. Get inside the embassy. This situation is delicate and largely unknown, so walk softly. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely the guy from 24. I th didn't he play the president, I think? But that's one thing I will say about this game. Playing it as an adult, uh, the, the voice acting is not great. Sam's fantastic. Sam is okay. Like, he, I have no complaints about Sam. Michael Ironside did a bang-up job. DP Brunton or whatever his name was. N not, not so much. really do want to know what that DP stands for. Uh, right, okay. And yeah, this is tutorial. This is tutorial stuff. Just like we did back in uh, in Langley in the beginning of the first game. Except now we're in some really wet village somewhere. And it is very dark, although a lovely sunset. I think we'll all agree. I did not mean to do that. While hanging, press triangle to bring your legs up. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, how do I get back? Here we go. Oh, it has been... It's actually not been that long since I played this, funnily enough. I streamed a couple of the first missions. Maybe like the first two or three missions of this a while back. Uh, like a couple of months ago. Here we go. And get my gun out like this. Oh, it's so cool, I'm telling you. As a kid, this was just the coolest fucking shit. Badass. Whoa! Badass commando. Um... Definitely didn't mean to do that, either. I am going to have to get used to the controls. Why on earth is triangle... Well, I suppose triangle's the jump button. And you go up. So pressing triangle again would make the rest of your body go up. Is that how... That's probably... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but anyway, hope you're all going to enjoy this. It's been such a bad intro. I, uh, I do love me the Split Cell games. Specifically the first three. They are my favourites. And it was such a such a good time replaying the first one. Although I did that, I did that in the HD version, and I, and I, I was tempted to, to do it again for this one, but I, I swear to God, it was just such a buggy piece of shit. And uh, so I just I decided to try and emulate this, which should theoretically make it easier for me to record. But there could be bugs and glitches that come along with that as well. So. Well, I don't- I don't think there's many enemies at this point yet. Uh, we can open the door, we can use our optic cable. Obviously, we're in, uh, night vision mode right now. We can go to thermals, which will... basically do nothing for us right now. And we can open the door! And Sam- Sam's got a few new tricks in this one. He can do the SWAT turn, uh, which we'll see soon, and... I think he can also whistle as well to lure enemies over, and that is a huge, huge improvement from the first game. Uh, but yeah, graphically, it doesn't look too bad. Even... Even the PS2 version. Like, the, the lighting effects have always been good in Splinter Cell. Uh, oh, we can... 
lock our first pick here. See if I remember how to do it. It's exactly the same as the first game. Nothing to it. There we go. And to climb a pipe. Aha. But again, the, the animations are about the same, I think, as the first game as well. They didn't they didn't add too much. But they didn't really need to. The 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 first game was fantastic. Oh, we can even optic cable down um vents as well. That's cool. But I don't think we need to really worry about it. That was a bit creaky. Uh, yeah, so this is going to work on checkpoints, but I, I can save state, so. Whoops, retry save, yes. Yeah, I could have swore it used to be the Sony Ericsson on there. Maybe it's not in this version. Which is weird, because this is the PS2 version, this is the Sony version. It's also really fucking dark, Jesus Christ. Right. Oh, I got some lovely net in there. Look at that. Oh, physics. Seriously, this shit blew my freaking mind as a kid. And um, back when this came out, I was heavily anticipating Metal Gear Solid 3, which, as we know, was set in the jungle. And I remember watching trailers for it and being like, oh my god, I can't wait to sneak around the jungle. And then this came out, and I was like, oh crap, there's... There are actually levels in this that are in jungle kind of areas, and so I, that's all I really wanted to play this for, was to pretend I was playing MGS3. <laughs> Even though I love, I love me the first Splinter Cell. Um, but yeah, I've, I think I've only ever beaten this one once as well. I really don't remember it as very well as uh, compared to the other two in the in the trilogy. I've played Chaos Theory like a million times. But yeah, it's, uh, it is going to be very dark, chaps. For the most part. But that's what we like. That's where Sam feels safest. Alright, I think we're going to be coming across some enemies pretty soon. Oh, time to slim down. Here we go. Good job Sam laid off the pies before uh, his briefing. Oh, we've got our first victim. And yeah, we can do the SWAT turn, which is... completely, like, not realistic at all. But how cool is that? They got rid of it in the other games. Probably, because it is, like, quite silly. But I still- I just loved it as a kid, like, doing the flip. I would do that in my house. And, like bang into stuff, but it was oh, it was great. All right, you you bye bye. See you later, dude. Uh, wait, where am I supposed to go here? Oh, you need to shoot the light to pass. Oh, All right, is R two? It's R two. Shoot the light. So pretty standard splinter cell stuff. I hear somebody. I hear somebody. Oh, you fucking don't. You have no choice. Knock out the guard, and don't forget to hide his body to avoid a full alert. Oh, I'm gonna knock him out, alright. Take him into my nice little dark corner. <laughs> and... Boop! Yeah, that works pretty much the same as the first game. So, we always want to make sure we've hidden bodies in complete darkness, which is the far left of that meter. We also have uh, a visual indication of how many alarms were allowed. We're not allowed any. So, gotta, gotta be super sneaky, which is, a, you know, it's a good job, actually, because I am, I am a pro stealth gamer. I am so good at stealth. Like, honestly, sometimes not even I know where I am. Like, sometimes I don't even know I'm there. So, this is just going to be a pretty flawless playthrough, guys. Landmines might spoil my pleasant disposition. Oh, Sam. Yeah, Land, landmines. Fisher, activate your thermal to spot the mines. I think I found them. Good job they give off a heat signature, otherwise we'd be fucked. And luckily they didn't uh, mine under here. Which, why would they? Why would they think that someone would crawl under here? Now, I do seem to remember them flashing. 
in uh, in the version that I played, especially in the HD collection they do. So I don't know if that's an emulation bug or if that's just with this version. I don't know, but uh, I'm not going to really worry about it. Can I climb this? No. Grab that and shimmy. Good job no one's around because I am very well lit here, although apparently not anymore. There we go. Okay. That is... That is, yeah. <laughs> if you're in a bright area and use night vision, fuck me. My retinas... So I've got a rappel thing here. A, a rapple. Nice slice of rapple pie. But I do. I, I, lo I love Sam's outfit in this. He's got other outfits in the game as well, but this one's like his signature uh, for this area. Ah, and speaking of area, we're uh, we're in the next part of the level. Okay. Infiltrate the embassy. Yeah, apologies if you care about the story. We're just we're just taking out bad guys. We're 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 um we're splinter cell. F the third echelon. Fifth freedom. Save game, yes. Okay. It's so weird, like, the back button being triangle. I'm so used to that being circle. Right. Let's, uh, let's peek out of this door. Looks fairly clear to me. Oh, and we how do I use my OPSAC? Because it's telling me I've got an email. How do I do that? Aha! Yeah, notes. Okay, data. Probably not going to bother with any of this stuff. That's Indonesia, if you didn't know what it looked like. There's, uh, there's Sedono. He's the big bad. And uh, we've got our inventory as well, I suppose. We've got a pistol and a disp pick. I've, I've, I'm so, I love me some disp pics. Send, please send disp pics, guys. No, don't. Please don't. Uh, disposable pics. Disposable lock pick. <laughs> okay. Also, that was a lot of plosives saying disp pic. So I do apologize if I was, uh, blowing the mic there. Ah, do we get to do our first, uh, split jump? I think we do. Yes, we do. Oh, that's going to be a half one, because this is a really freaking narrow. Yeah. Heck yeah. Sam, I wish I, I, I wish I could be you when I grow up. All right, and then we... Yeah, you can reach the position above yourself. Move the left analog stick so you face the higher position, then press triangle. Um. Oh, okay. There we go. A little bit, a little bit clunky. I wish, I wish the, the, the information thing wasn't so bloody big. There we go. You can whistle while you work uh, using the L2 button. If a guard hears this, he will investigate the sound. Yeah, I don't really want to do that just yet, do I? What? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, there was a guy right there. Don't come in here. Didn't realize there'd be a dude right there. Alright, don't turn around. Don't turn around. How did he not see me? Who the hell are you? Oh, bollocks. For Christ's sake, Fisher. The mission is over. I am a pro stealth gamer. Wow, that was quick. You were detected prematurely. I'm always being told that. Right. Luckily, the checkpoint was right there. I don't remember the, this game being so generous with checkpoints, but I guess, uh... I guess it was. Alright, let's try this again. Can't believe... I mean, it wasn't technically the first guy. 
but it was basically the first guy that was supposed to get past and take out, and uh, I failed. Quite miserably. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's try that again, Sam. In fact, we will, uh, we will whistle and lure him to his doom. I wish I could whistle like that. That is a hearty whistle. Oh shit. You have no choice. Knock out the guard and don't forget to hide his body to Usually they say like, oh, what was that noise? Alright, don't turn around, bud. Yeah, I got you this time. Going night night. Past your bedtime. Oh, what was he? Oh, it's my favorite show, the White Static Show. And we've just picked up some ammo. Uh, for my pistol. Which is jolly good. Grim's found your back door. Avoid the main gate at all cost. Blueprints show an ornamental stream running oh, the entrance. This bit. Looks like a viable way in. Yep. A little wet's better than a little dead. That stream's your way in, even if it means moving slowly to minimize your noise level. Now, you'll notice something about Lambert in this game, other than the fact that he's voiced by a completely different dude. You'll notice, and I've I've noticed it, and as soon as I noticed it, I can't ever unhear it now. But whenever he speaks, or a lot of the time, he'll speak, you'll hear him inhale sharply before he says anything. Like, <laughs> you know, like that. He does it a lot, and it bugs the crap out of me. It's like they couldn't have just edited that out in the voice recording. I mean, I know it's natural, people breathe. You know, that's just a thing people do, but it's always bugged the crap out of me. But I've always remembered this bit. This bit, there's a little, uh, little river we can sneak through. A little wet is a, is better than a little dead, as he said. Fisher, be careful. This village is a walk in the park compared to what needs to be done inside the embassy. And that tune again that they whistle. Fuck, what a frog somewhere. Now, the problem is we do... Still want to be careful here because, yeah, there's lights freaking everywhere and fire, which is not something we can really shoot out. Are you going to move, bud? Are you going to go that way? Please? So if I go through here, I bet I'm going to get seen. That's a lot of frogs. Oh no, I'm still in the I'm still in the dark over here. That's fine. Now, of course, we want to be careful with our sound as well, because they will hear you if you go too quick. We're just sneaking through the water and the reeds like this. Oh, it was so cool back in the day. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a dude in a chair around here somewhere that we can sneak up behind and interrogate. Holy fuck. The situation is getting worse in the embassy. They seem to be killing hostages now. Oh no. They seem or they do. Good, good. We need clarification on that, Grim's daughter. Uh, okay, maybe not just yet. Am I getting my uh, memory all mixed up? I have to go through this door. I don't like that that guy could turn around at any moment and see me. Could shoot the light out, I suppose. I'm gonna do that just to be safe. Now, is it... Is it as inaccurate as the first game's pistol? That's what we need to test right now. So far, it's not been too bad. So far, it's not been too bad, but if you've watched my playthrough of the first game, Sam's accuracy sucks dick. It's not good. Okay, coast is clear. I was so tempted to just play Chaos Theory, because it is my favorite one. But I was like, eh, might as well play the second one. It's not that bad. I, I, I do remember... I do have some good memories of this one, but just not as many. Just not as many. I hear someone walking around. 
Oh, it makes me nervous. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad the save, the save points in this, the checkpoints, are super frequent. Way more frequent than the first games. I think, anyway. Oh, gotta lock the pick. There we go. Lovely jubbly. I've got a man at my way, Lambert. This is the How guy. How flexible is my zero fatality mandate? There's a rock. In fact, we want you to make a new friend. From your onboards, that man looks like one of Sedano's lieutenants. Interrogate him. Find out what he knows about Sedano's defense parameters. The chatter we're sifting sounds bad, but lacks specifics. Details on your ops at. Yeah, I'm never going to check it. Uh, do, do you see what I mean, though? As soon as you hear it, you can't unhear it. He always inhales very sharply <gasps> before he talks. Like, <gasps> you need to do this, <gasps> Sam. You know, that kind of thing. It always it just it books the crap out of me. I really don't like Lambert in this game. Right, you and me are going to have a little talk, buddy. Over here. Let's have a nice little chat. I need information. I... I don't speak English. I'd be willing to bet your neck that you do. <laughs> I know a little English. <laughs> Good to hear. I'm going inside to meet your friends. Anything I need to worry about? They have guns. I'm shocked and amazed. <laughs> What else? My men planted the mines on our way out. We had to escort... Uh, to defend the village. Escort who? Nothing. Escort who? Ah! Nobody. I, I made a mistake. You lying. Escort who? Ah! <laughs> know his name. Somebody important to Sedano. He's got an American accent and one of his legs is fake. A bald man with dead eyes. It's me! A fake leg. I don't have a fake leg, though. Yes. Go ahead and kill me. That's all I know. Don't tempt me. I bloody will. Although I'm not allowed, so. You get to live another day, sir. You were very unhelpful at first. I should break your nose for that, but, um... You just have a little sleep in this corner. Valum, okay. You there? Uh oh. You have some light? Valum, you hear me? Valum, you hear me? I don't know what accent these guys are supposed to have. I think he's about to come out and say, oh, yep. Yeah. He's like, huh? Where'd he go? I see. This guy's going to be quite difficult to get to because he's walking around a very, very prominent light source. Oh, and now he's... Strange. Strange. He's just going to go back in? Oh, no. He's having a look around. He's thinking about it. And now he's going back in. You're not going to worry... You're not worried where your mate went? Oh, now this is a problem. How am I going to get in there without him seeing me? Oh, he's sitting- Oh, he's sitting with his back to me. Perfect. Just how I like him. Just don't fucking turn around. Ah, oh, the problem is he's on a really awkward bit here. Oh, I can still grab him. Nice. Yes. Oh, we can't- inter We can't interrogate this guy. Okay. Well, it's lights out for you. Uh, can I turn the light? Can I actually turn the... No, I have to shoot it out. There we go. He's still not technically in total darkness, though. What? It's very, very bloody annoying, that, because uh, sometimes you might think you're not in total darkness, and you are, even though you're very well lit, and you shouldn't really be in total darkness. And then it's, there's the opposite, where there is no light source in this whole room. And yet... He's not in total darkness, so I'm going to have to move him just to be safe. What a pain in the tits. Is it darker over in this corner of the, of the room? Kind of, but not really. What about over in this corner? 
Uh, again, it's not worth the risk. Can I open the door while I'm carrying him? Oh, good, I can. Let's just put him with his mate. They're going to wake up very confused together. Questions will be asked. There we go. There you go. You know, you have a nice little snuggle. Right. Am I supposed to go up the wall? I think so. Over the wall? Where am I going here, Sam? Oh, that's yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. I think we're uh, we should be pretty close to the embassy now. Recover, destroy security intelligence. Okay. Yeah, these missions are going to take... The, there's not that many missions in the game. I think there's maybe eight or nine, but they're, they're quite long, so... Probably going to be a couple of videos per mission, I would think. But I really hope you're enjoying this, by the way, chaps. If you are, like like the, the subscribe button and leave a, leave a bell in the comments uh, so that you're notified whenever I... Uh, whenever I view a video. Save the game, yes. And uh, I think actually this is where we'll end it, and we'll probably finish this mission off next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, hope you're gonna, yeah, look look forward to more videos of this soon. Splinter Cell, Pandora tomorrow. It is not a JRPG attack. It is Sam the Fisher's second adventure. A hostage situation. Indonesian militants. Yeah, but the hostages are somebody else's game. You're here for information, and especially the information held by Douglas. Shetland's your objective. We need to know how much data was lost. Yeah, Shetland's uh, one of Sam Fisher's old mates. And we'll be seeing him next time. Oh, there's, there's gunshots. I hope that wasn't Shetland. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.